Science Central. This mouse looks normal until you switch to UV light. Where there's no hair, it glows green. With a hairless mouse, it's all green. That's because scientists were looking for stem cells that could grow into nerve or brain cells, and the researchers gave the mouse a gene that would make only those cells glow. They expected the brain area to glow, but were surprised when the whole mouse lit up. It turned out the stem cells are in all of the mouse's hair follicles. I'll never forget the minute that we made that observation. We all realized immediately that there was a very close relationship between the hair follicle stem cells and brain stem cells. As they wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Hoffman and his team at San Diego's Anti-Cancer Incorporated found that the hair follicle stem cells could help nerves regrow in injured mice. Without injecting the hair follicle stem cells, the nerve would n did not rejoin. Only when we injected the hair follicle stem cells did the nerve rejoin. Previous tests have shown these cells can also become neurons, the nerve cells of the brain. Hoffman says finding stem cells in hair follicles is important because they're so easy to obtain. We don't have to worry about embryonic stem cells or invasive procedures to get stem cells. Completely non-invasive, just pluck hairs. Hoffman says while this has worked with mice, more work must be done before anyone knows for sure if this has value to people. I'm Brad Closa. Thank <music> you.